Hello everyone, this is Marlo from Studio D1. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this custom mouse effect on, on Framer. So let's go. First thing, you need um, a code override. So credit to Nabel for um, making this accessible. So you copy this code override and add on to your Framer. Go on Assets. Click on New Override. I'm going to call this Custom Cursor. Create, then delete all, paste, and save. Now for the cursor, I'm, I'm using this this cursor. Now if I want this cursor to be on the whole page, all I just have to do is cut this and paste this on my desktop, right? And set the position to be absolute. Then on the cursor, on the code override, we want to come on here and check our custom cursor and cursor follow now if we play this this should follow our cursor but sadly it's not let's see uh, where where we have any issues on let's see okay cursor with custom cursor follow right yeah so my absolute there is um, a position here that is set to top pin top so i want to remove that then we can try that again all right now if we see nice working but now this is shown on every pages right now I, but i want it to show on is but this particular card like if i over over this then show it on only this card so what i would do here is i would instead of put it on the body i'll cut this and put it in my card all right so now it's in my card and on the card i'll set the overflow to hidden and also set the cursor um style to none now, if I um, play this again, now you can see it will always show up here. And you can replicate it. You can use several cursor, like the one that will show up on the body and for the card will be a different one. Yeah, that's it. Um, see you on the next one.